young man. That's, uh, Spongebob with two sevens, right? The Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza absolutely. Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza, yeah, for you and me! Goodbye, Patrick. Goodbye, SpongeBob. Ah! <laughs> For a Mrs. Puff? Yes, that's me. Your new boat's here. Just sign for it, please. Speaking of signatures, would you sign this petition to save the Krusty Krab? Why would I care about the Krusty Krab? I'll unload the boat. Don't worry, Mr. Delivery Man. I got this. <laughs> How cute Abby is. Oh, please. That thing isn't even a graphing calculator. Weak. Oh, come on. How can you look at our baby itty little keyboard and say he's not the cutest? I have the perfect name for him. Well, don't you want to know the name? Not really. It's Chip. He's named after my grandfather. Oh! <laughs> Great. Here we go with the crying. Will you please hush that thing up? Please put your thumbs and four fingers together and give a warm welcome to the Pied Piper of Jazz himself, Kelpie G. Immaculate music. It's the very voice of Neptune himself. <laughs> they look 
played all sorts of games together. But their doggone favorite is wrestling. It's the Krusty Krab Kitchen. What a stroke of luck. Gary and Spot must have worked up quite an appetite with all them fun and games. Uh-oh. That ice box is locked up tighter than a horse thief in a who's gal. Stop touching rude. my head. Rude, rude, rude. Let's all sing rude. the road song. Rude. I want to sing it rude. all day long. Rude. Let's all sing rude. the road song. Rude. Let's all sing. It's mine. The formula's mine. After all these years, it's finally mine! <sighs> well, let it be known that on this day, I, Sheldon J. Plankton, single-handedly overthrew the Krusty Krab! Ahem! Uh, and, uh, of course, I had a little help from the family. Mixed together with the most important ingredient of all, four heaping pounds of freshly ground... Plankton? I warned you. Ah! Ah! So for SpongeBob, I can't go on. The taste, Patrick. Remember the taste. The taste. What's this? Patrick Starr has risen from his seat and is pointing to center field. No, wait! He's pointing to a little boy with a hurt foot. Ladies and gentlemen, he's pointing to his mouth as if to indicate something. Here you go, champ. You can have mine. And he's eating! He's eating! The Great Starfino is eating! Patrick Star wins! At the Krusty Krab, his talent was wasted. Excuse me, can I get a refill? No, you can't. Good word. <sighs> yes, you can. But who will refill the empty chasm in my soul? I don't know, man. I don't know. His life shattered. Is there any task too demeaning for our hero? Hey, my Krabby Patty doesn't have ketchup. It would appear not. No ketchup! That's terrible! Here, let me help you with that. <laughs> Be careful with that thing! Who knows what'll happen? <laughs> what are they selling? Chocolates! What? Chocolates! I can't hear you! They're selling chocolates! They're selling chocolates? Yeah! Chocolate. I remember when they first invented chocolate. Sweet, sweet chocolate. I always hated it. Oh, but this chocolate's not for eating. It's for... You rub it on your skin, and it makes you live forever. No, no. Live no, forever, no. you say? I'll take one. It's time for Flavors of the Bottom, a delectable look at dining out in Bikini Bottom with your host, Perch Perkins. 
Hey, all you bottom feeders, if you've already eaten, well, you might want to make room for seconds, because we are tasting Bikini Bottom's sensational new upscale eatery, Les Chambaquettes. Look at all those classy diners. What's on the menu? It's called Chum Fricassee. Earlier, I spoke to head chef Squidward Tentacles. He shared with us why it's such a fricka success. Actually, I can't share the recipe with you. It's a secret. Hi, how are you? Looking good. Mustard with that? All right. How is that patty treating you, sir? Are you an angel? No, merely a man. A man in long pants. Oh, my precious long pants! What's wrong, Slick? You're not having trouble with your pants, are you? Nothing like that, Mr. Krabs. I just don't think I'm made or dematerial. Yeah, you're right. You're too good for this place. Is that what I think it is? It sure is. It's a gilded doorknob. Absolutely magical. Absolutely imported. May I? But of course. Oh, lovely. In it. Well, I have to say, Squilliam, and I think I'm speaking for all of our viewers out there when I'm saying this. You are truly a fancy man. <laughs> well, all this gushing is perfectly deserved. And now, I would like to present to you my favorite room in the house. It's all custom. Ah, look at this. It's my jewel-encrusted toilet paper holder. Grandma, you make the best cookies in the deep blue sea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Grandma's cookies. Now, who wants to lick the spoon? Ah, me, me, me! And then we go all the way home with all the windows down in the freezing cold. Tell me another story about when I was a baby. Oh, three o'clock? I'm gonna be late for work. Hop in my car. I'll drop you off. Thanks, Grandma. SpongeBob, you forgot your kissy kissy. I sure did. It's all about you, girl. On the 16th birthday, we'll pay attention to you, girl. Everyone has to do just what you say. You'll get your very own spotlight tonight. Cause it's all about you. Yeah, it's all about her. Now, how's about that, Patty? Everyone, watch and learn. No one watches Jim. One patty, the right way. It's a thing of beauty. What's so great about a gym patty, anyway? It's okay. Well, here we go again. Hey, Squidward! What's going on with this thing? Not sure what it is, but something seems different about me. <laughs> Prepare to be burdened with the haunting memories of my ghostly ghost pirates. Was that the signal? 
Okay, sorry, sorry, just, just do it again. With the haunting memory of my ghostly ghost pirates! Get back on the ship. It's still a mystery. Those guys are dorks. Yes, but they're my dorks. And we're back. My first guest had dinner with me just last night. He's a close personal friend of mine. Please welcome the Krabby Patty. Great to have you back on the program. Great to be here, BB. Well, I'm sorry to say it, but last night, you were not quite as delicious as one would hope. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure Mr. Krabs will give you a refund. Bubble <laughs> 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 Bass? Who are you talking to down there? Mother! Please stop trying to undermine my fantasy talk show! <laughs> he may be half a mermaid, and he may be half a man. But to us, he's more than a hero. He's our mermaid man! <laughs> 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 oh, bravo! 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 Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Good, thank you, everyone. I love the show, and I loved the love you showed me. And I loved how you showed me the love you showed me in the show I love. This was my favorite episode of Mermaid Man ever. Ooh, what is it? It's a portal to other worlds. I built it to explore the universe. Also for quick trips to Texas to pick up some of my favorite barbecue nuts. Dag nabbit, that ding dang nut stealing army back again! Oh, huh? Pretty nifty, huh? Do you know what this is? A very dirty dollar. No! This is my one million dollar earned! Every crab's goal in life is to make a million dollars! And now I got mine! Congratulations, sir! You have just given me my one million dollar! Huh, great. Uh, what do I win? Nothing! Another trophy? Oh, great! What's it for this time? For doing absolutely nothing longer than anyone else, Patrick! This trophy's for you! Yay! <laughs> So, what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna go protect my title! Hey, man, that's my hat. Give it back. What? No way. Just crawl back into your hole, bone boy. Go ahead, play dead. I guess I'm gonna have to take it from you. Yeah, right. You and what army? Only the army of the living dead. Oh, no! I've seen this on the late show. You ghoulish fiends hold me down and take turns nibbling on my innards. Then you eat my brain and leave my body for the buzzards. That's disgusting. We just want the hat back. No flipping way. Back up, back up, I say. Attack. Now these neighbors know how to live. Intensive. Hmm, I'll bet they won't have... <gasps> wow, they have it! Canned bread! This town is great! I would really be impressed if it had an interpretive dance academy! Yeah, it's even better in a group! This town is perfect! A clarinet trio! I don't get it. I'm a 
made my house a mess, which was making it clean, which made Squidward clean my yard. But that really means he's messing it up. But the opposite of clean is filth, which means filth is clean. That means Squidward's really making my yard a wreck. But I'd normally wreck my own yard, which means Squidward's being the opposite of Squidward, which means he's SpongeBob. Da ha! I understand everything now. I must be the opposite of SpongeBob by being... Squidward. Hey, I want to be opposite too. Yeah, finally, yahoo! I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward, 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 Squidward. Wait. It's not enough to look like Squidward to be opposite. You have to act like him, too. Boy, oh boy, do I like playing the clarinet. I practice and practice all day long, but I never get any better. Now you try. Okay. <gasps> I'm Squidward, 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 Squidward. I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward, Squidward. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. We've saved the best for last. Put your hands together for the incomparable Squidward! worth every penny. Before you is the culmination of my lifelong dream. A place of my own where I can work out every day, anytime I want. Larry's Gym. Yeah. Looking out at this sea of flaccid muscles and sagging flesh, frankly, I'm disgusted. Therefore, I'm opening the gym to everyone in Bikini Bottom. Yeah! for the price of a lifetime membership. Aww. But today, everything is free! Yeah! Yeah! The shape us and mold is in your image! Yeah! You're the lobster, Larry! on probation, I'd call the cops! Clinker in me, old nemesis -er. I've got good news -er. I'm leaving town and going back into the neighbory. So I'm giving you the secret formula -er. What? How do I know this isn't a trapper? -er? Ah, you got me doing it! It's a going away gift -er. <sighs> I'll get me formula -er out of me safer. -er -er and meet you at the Krusty Krabs. Er, er, er. I'll meet you there, Eugene, honey. Mwah. Kiss. <laughs> I think he bought it. Come on. <laughs> That's right. Perch Perkins here at Goo Lagoon, bringing you the latest on the Super Goo event. What do you think of Super Goo, young man? I'm on TV. And you, sir, what's your opinion? Uh, sir? He's awesome. Uh, that's great. Let's get some comments from some other beachgoers. I have a comment. Super Goo is evil. Stay in your homes. Yes, siree. The Goo Bubbles certainly are getting folks excited. Squidward, we don't need television. Not as long as we have our imagination. Wow, I never thought of it that way. That's really something. Can I have your TV? With imagination, I can be anything I want. A pirate. Arr. A football player. Hop. 
A starfish. Patrick, you're already a starfish. See, Squidward, it works. So how you been? How are things? Oh, not so good, SpongeBob. On my way into town, I got a flat tire on my motor scooter. Well, let me see if I can fix that for you. Everything I heard. Oh. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. Friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. Try it! N is for anywhere at any time at all. Down here in the deep blue sea. Wait, I don't understand this. I feel all tingly inside. Should we stop? No, that's how you're supposed to feel. Well, I like it. Let's do it again! Okay! F is for frolic through all the flowers. U is for ukulele. N is for nose picking, sharing gum and sun licking here with my best buddy. I'm gonna teach you how to do the sponge. Well, if you take your leg and you stick it in the air, and then you take the other one and jam it right up there, you twist yourself around and give a great big lunge. Now you're doing the sponge. I do the sponge, sponge, or do the sponge. Bet your punch you're doing the sponge. Well, now that you take your leg, and you stick it in the air, and then you take the other one, and you jam it right up there. Can't you see I'm doing the sponge? Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, you know! Captain, this is a posted no parking zone. But I must do what I do. <laughs> Evil can't park here between the hours of 6 a.m. and 12 p.m. <laughs> hey, this looks pretty good. <laughs> Without you, SpongeBob. <laughs> Franklin obviously didn't steal me formula, so how did he steal all me customers? This job tastes awful. Yeah, but the slogan is so catchy that we can't stop eating it. Some is fun. <laughs> 
<laughs> Show me <his> foam. <laughs> Come on, SpongeBob. Something funnier than 24. Let me hear it. 25. <laughs> <laughs> with a star! <laughs> um, excuse me, can I have some ketchup? Hey, look at my arch, you dummies! Oh. <laughs> I don't know how you tuck me into these art shows, SpongeBob, but I'm shutting this thing down right now! Aw, oh, you can't, Mr. Krabs. Wait till Squidward sells some of his paintings. Buy some important paintings. See me expose my exquisite suffering. <laughs> These fools don't even recognize the masterworks in front of their faces. I'll confront them with the power of my art. And witness the beauty! <laughs> Come on, Larry, get your salad on. Come on, Larry, get your art on. Ooh, my eyes! You fool! This was over before it started! <laughs> I will now consider your unconditional surrender! <laughs> so that's how he wants it to go down.